DS3 series microinverters represent the new generation of single-phase dual microinverters developed by AP Systems. With a new topology structure, they embody safety, efficiency, and intelligence, achieving a notable increase in power density and an upgrade in current. Before installing the product, ensure all accessories are present. Confirm the local grid voltage aligns with the voltage level on the AP Systems microinverter label, and prepare the necessary installation tools. Additionally, please refer to the AP Systems product datasheet and your local grid specifications to determine the selection of circuit breakers, as well as the maximum number of microinverters that can be connected to each branch. Utilize your design diagram to establish the microinverter's pre-installation position. Next up, installing the AC bus cable. First, pre-arrange the AC bus cable in a suitable location for connecting the microinverter. And connect one end of the bus cable to the AC extension cable through an AC connector or junction box. Connect the AC branch extension cables of all branches to the main service cabinet or to a combiner box first and then the main service panel. Before installing the microinverters, first mark their installation locations. When handling, avoid lifting the microinverters by the AC cable and do not install the microinverter or AC-DC connectors in areas exposed to direct sunlight, rain, or snow, including between module gaps. Ensure sufficient ventilation and heat dissipation space around the microinverter. When performing grounding operations, use a grounding washer, which is included, and be sure the washer faces and presses against the bracket. Alternatively, use a grounding copper wire to ground the system ensuring that the bracket is grounded in a suitable manner or ground it by connecting the PE wire in the bus to the ground rail. When connecting the bus cable, connect the microinverter branch cable and the bus cable in sequence and confirm completion by listening for the click sound. If you need to disconnect the branch cable from the bus cable, use the bus cable unlock tool to unlock it. For Y branches that are empty in the middle of the bus, Use a bus cable con cap to seal the unused port and use an end cap to seal the end of the bus cable. After the microinverter is installed, remove the UID serial number labels from the product and affix them to both the module frame and your array map diagram, which will help to indicate which microinverters are connected to the corresponding modules. When connecting on the DC side, do not connect the DC cables of the same module to different channels of the inverter. When the microinverter is powered on for the first time on the DC side, the LED light will flash green several times to indicate that the inverter is starting up. For the different layouts, use DC extension cables of different lengths. If there is an unused channel on the microinverter, Use a DC male-female connector cap for protection. The ECU is AP System's state-of-the-art energy communication unit and is used to collect various performance data from the microinverter and monitor the system operation in real time. Install the ECU indoors, preferably near a window. After completing the network connection, use the EMA Manager app to register and commission the system. Scan the inverter UIDs on the array map diagram and then sync them with the ECU. Then close the PV side circuit breaker. At this time, the array will generate electricity and each microinverter will communicate with the ECU. And their LED light will flash green every 5 seconds. If a product replacement is necessary, 
First, disconnect the PD side circuit breaker. Then, disconnect the connection between the microinverter and the bus cable. And then the PD module. In that order. And then replace the product. During system operation, the microinverter's built-in wireless communication module emits signals, communicating with the ECU. Users can access real-time and historical power generation data of the system anytime and anywhere through a mobile phone or computer interface, and view the power generation status of each module on the module page. AP Systems, bringing simpler, smarter solar everywhere.